of all of the 11,000 pieces of publication that we've seen and uh, the 3,000 that we've reviewed uh, have really demonstrated that mushrooms have an important role in human health. They provide uh, a broad array of nutrition uh, and it appears from a lot of human and other studies that they have a role in um, uh, the potential to reduce risk for certain sorts of cancer and also may have an impact on uh, reducing uh, cardiovascular disease and uh, a range of other factors that impact on immune function. Probably the most uh, surprising and amongst the most consistent are the role of mushrooms in uh, immune function. Uh, and that then relates again to how that increased immune function might help to prevent cancer. We were surprised by the diversity of effects that mushrooms appear to be related to. Uh, not only was the impact on, um, on uh, um, inflammation and immune function, but we also saw effects on appetite control. And so the effects don't seem to be in one specific area of health, they seem to cover a broad range of different health attributes. The effects that mushrooms have on how we perceive the taste of food, uh, it suggests that mushrooms have substances that trick the brain into thinking that you've eaten more than you actually have. And human studies have shown that if you make a food with mushrooms and you test it with another food that doesn't contain mushrooms and also has higher calories, that you can actually eat less as a consequence of that, but you still feel satisfied. So that tells us that there's something unique about the composition of mushrooms that helps us to feel more satisfied after eating. And in the very first report that we conducted, there was some evidence that um, mushrooms can help to reduce salt intake because um, the umami flavour means that it has such a, a breadth of flavour that you don't actually need salt. Salt is just a quick and easy, dirty way of increasing the flavour of food. But the flavour of food is really far more complex and that umami flavour can help to reduce the amount of salt you need but still maintain the palatability and the intensity of flavour that we all crave. Well, in essence, if people were to include more mushrooms, they might find that they needed less salt in their diet. Having less salt in your diet means that your blood pressure can go down, it's better for your arteries, and yes, it could have quite a health impact. I think there's a lot of confusion about what to do about vitamin D. On the one hand, we know that um, um, vitamin D is synthesised in the skin from sunlight, but on the other hand, we know that too much sunlight can be problematic in terms of skin cancer. So there is some degree of confusion about the role of vitamin D. We know that vitamin D relates to bone health, but I don't think too many people appreciate the diversity of the effects that vitamin D has uh, from um, not only bone health, but the impact it might have on cardiovascular disease, the impact that uh, it might have on uh, a range of different things such as mental health. So vitamin D is a really, really topical area and mushrooms would have to be one of the very, very few foods that will provide a source of vitamin D. Mushrooms provide an amazingly small number of calories and an amazingly large number of nutrients. So 25% of your recommended daily intake of about at least four or five different nutrients that include panathenic acid, riboflavin, which you normally would find in milk, biotin, copper. Um, and so it, really that is a very large chunk of your daily requirements of those nutrients that you would probably have to eat a lot of different foods to get the same quantities. Probably the most important that we can say at the moment is Vitamin D enriched mushrooms and bone health uh, is probably the, the, the area that is most well studied. But apart from that, I think for general health and wellbeing, including uh, mushrooms in your daily diet, is a good uh, injection of vitamins into your diet and uh, can help to reduce your salt intake and can help to regulate your appetite. There is a lot to be discovered, but I do think we need to concentrate on firming up some of the animal-based evidence into human studies. The potential is massive if the human studies are done to show that those benefits can actually be seen in humans. <laughs>